Well, hello, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, you know, this does not work without you guys. Um, let me get out of this daggone parking space, and this person here is trying to bogart back around me. All right, so you know I'm happy. It's Friday. We're about oh, four hours away from our live stream that we have every Friday night. We'll be talking about the Redskins versus the Cowboys. I've already met with my man Barry, getting the final preparations together for our game plan for our tailgate. And I've got 12, 12 port shoulders that I'm getting ready to go in and start smoking here in just a few minutes. So I'm going to actually do a little live stream while we get those hogs smoked. And I tell you, man, it's going to be great. So we heard earlier this week that Taco um, could be on the trading block, that they're looking to trade him man for man. Um, the thing that's good about Taco is his contract is very tradable because, you know, he's already had a couple of years in. He had the bonus money and everything else, and he's still in that rookie contract. So you look at it from that standpoint, it's actually really good. The question, of course, is, is what kind of player are you getting? That's the only question. Now, we heard that Mika Fitzpatrick is like, he's done. He wants the hell out of Miami, and, you know, he, I mean, let's face it, right now, Miami has been a fire sale, and it looks like they're going the route of uh, John Gruden and basically just disassembling the team and starting all over. And he wants to get out. So I know a lot of people are like, oh, let's do a straight up trade for that one. But I'm not sure that that's gonna be enough for the Miami Dolphins to just take Taco um, for Fitzpatrick. Fitzpatrick, make no mistake about it, man. He, he's the real deal. He had 80 tackles last year on 11 starts. And being that he, same kind of a deal that most of his money was the guaranteed money and, you know, signing bonus, that his contract is very, very team friendly. So as opposed to had we signed, you know, Earl Thomas, who was looking at, you know, that big free agent, $13 million a year money, you're talking about a guy that on your cap, it only costs you three, four million or so. I've, I've got to look at the exact numbers, but believe me, it would be dirt, dirt cheap. But I think... In order to get that deal done, you would have to throw in another player. Now, some people say, well, why would you go ahead and trade Taco? You know, you just drafted him a couple years ago. Well, you look at the defensive line right now, you've got a lot of studs. I mean, you've got Antoine Woods, who came out of nowhere, okay? You know, he's you know great in the middle. You look at Malik Collins, who's actually in a contract year. All of a sudden, he looks like an absolute beast. And then, of course, you've got Tyrone Crawford there, who's, you know, the wildly veteran that's been there forever. you got Tristan Hill that's out there. you got Kerry Hader, okay? If you ever get uh, Randy Gregory back, you've got so many pieces here. And you look at this and say, well... We've got an overload in this section, and there's other areas that we may need somebody a little more urgently. urgently. And safety has been one that we never really addressed. We've got Antoine Woods, who I believe is going to be the real deal. You've got Jeff Heath, who plays really, really well, but sometimes you kind of look at it and say, would he be better suited coming off of the bench as opposed to a full-time starter? You know, because he's always made some plays. He's got quite a few interceptions. But sometimes the angles aren't just right where you want them. And you can always look and say, you know, if we end up getting somebody hurt, you know, we let George Aloka go, and we've got Kevon Frazier, and really, oh, well, and uh, Donovan Wilson. Donovan Wilson looks to be good, too, but, you know, he's still got that rookie wet behind the ear sight. So you're always looking to upgrade a position, and, you know, safety is one of those ones that, they're hard to find really, really good safeties. So it may end up being that you'd have to give up a draft pick as well as Taco to make that deal done. But I think it could be worth looking into it and seeing how much it would cost. You know, because right now, as you look at the Dallas Cowboys with the age of this team, you're pretty well fit just about everywhere on the field. There's not a whole lot of areas that's a sense of urgency that we have to completely rebuild. So it may behoove you, you 
can move. Maybe a third round pick and a taco. You get a Mika Fitzpatrick. That's not a bad way to go. Or let's look at it this way. You were willing to give up a second for an Earl Thomas, who was an aging veteran, that was going to cost you 10 plus and knowing that you're going to have to sign him. So from that standpoint, uh, Mika Fitzpatrick is a lot younger, has a lot longer shelf life than what Earl Thomas would. And right now, won't cost you much for a couple of years. I say you definitely look into that. But then again, what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll who's got 110 pounds of pork that he's getting ready to smoke for Sunday's game. I'll see you guys tonight, our live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern. And you'll probably see me in about a half hour or so smoking support.